There are many different types of filler in the Polycell range. I'm going to take you through which one is best to repair the different kinds of damage that you have on your walls. We'll start with small holes and hairline cracks. The tiny ones are really easy to fix with Polycell Quick Drying Polyfiller. You can use it straight from the tube so those last minute's jobs can be done really quickly as it dries and you're ready to paint in five minutes. For slightly deeper holes where drying time is not so important, there's Polycell Multipurpose Polyfiller and Polycell No Sanding Polyfiller which is really versatile and there's no mess from sanding either. For much deeper holes, you can use a ready mixed filler, but that needs to be built up in layers, which takes a lot of time. To get a job done quickly, use some Polycell Multipurpose Polyfiller. It'll fill the hole in one go. And don't worry if you don't know how to mix up a powder filler, just watch one of the Polycell videos. If you're after a smooth finish or a filling hairline cracks on the surface, then the best thing to use is Polycell Fine Surface Polyfiller. This filler adheres really well and it gives you a glass smooth finish. When it comes to filling deeper gaps, the key is to use a lightweight filler so it doesn't shrink or sag. For this, you can use Polycell One Fill Polyfiller, which can fill gaps up to 50 millimeters. And if you're gonna be putting screws or nails into it as well, then the best product to use is Polycell Deep Gap Polyfiller. For awkward and very deep gaps, use Polycell Expanding Foam Polyfiller. It expands to two and a half times the original size, so you don't have to use much product. After putting up coving or skirting boards, you sometimes find that cracks appear over time. And because this movement is likely to continue, you need a product that will flex with it. For this, you can use Polycell Flexible Gap Polyfiller. Wooden doors, door frames, and skirting boards often get chipped and dented. They can easily be filled with Polycell Wood Flex Polyfiller. Just like filling a hole in a wall, you apply the product to the area and smooth it off with a knife. And then when it's dry, you simply cover it with a varnish, a wood stain, or an oil-based paint. If your damage is to an exterior wall, then you can use Polycell Exterior Polyfiller. It's tough, it's durable, and it's weatherproof. For really tough jobs, there's Polycell Quick Set Cement. It's good for bolts and brackets, and it'll set underwater for your garden repairs. To repair larger areas, for example, after stripping wallpaper, choose Polycell Smooth Over for damaged walls. And if the plaster needs repairing, choose Polycell Plaster Repair, which you can use with Polycell Finishing Skim. With these two products together, you don't need to hire a professional plasterer. And don't forget, if you need more help with how to use any of the specific products we've got here, we'll show you how with other videos on our Polycell site.